Have you ever noticed how so many K-pop idols have these crazy skinny figures that seem impossible to achieve? It's like, do they even eat? In the world of K-pop, there are always idols who have unrealistically skinny appearance. But get this, there are also some idols who started out looking a little chubbier, plumper than other members, and then boom, they suddenly look super skinny and they become a popular one they gain so much attention after that then they make their legend of legends era it's a sad truth that they get so much attention that they never able to get before after they lose a lot of weight well here's the thing they go through intense diets it's not like they just lose a couple pounds and the harsh reality behind their intense diets is often hidden from the public in fact a lot of the time there is a whole bunch of hidden stuff going on behind the scenes that we don't know about so today we're gonna take a closer look at hidden aspects of idol diets and uncover the truth behind this issue are you ready let's dive right in the celebrity we'll first talk about is joey from red velvet um she's been dealing with some health issues lately and she had to take a break from all her entertainment activities according to her agency she visited the hospital because she wasn't feeling too good and the doctors advised her to take some time off for treatment and rest so right now all of her scheduled appearances including tv show recordings have been cancelled and you know what it's not just joey either these days lots of singers have been canceling their shows or taking breaks because of health problems lately it's starting to make people in the entertainment industry worried there is health warning going on and if you ask me I think part of the problem might be these super harsh diets that K-pop idols go through. Joey, for example, used to have a really cute and fresh look when she first debuted. She was really adorable along with her bubbly personality and people used to call her a shining shooting star. She was like a breath of fresh air, but she started gaining weight, a little bit of weight compared to other members, and she started getting hate for that. That kind of cyberbullying is just really insane. It's really sad to think about all the toxic and messed up hate comments she had to read. So Joey decided to go on an extreme diet, eating nothing but bell peppers and apples for breakfast, chicken breast salad for lunch, and a protein shake for dinner. But that ended up causing her some serious health problems, so she started focusing more on exercise and eating a healthy diet instead of just trying to lose weight. I'm really glad she found a healthy way. Recently, she said she doesn't even weigh herself on scales anymore. She said it's more about how she feels and how her clothes fit than the number, the number on the scale. She now combines exercise with diet control to manage her body shape. And she's all about promoting a healthy, balanced approach to diet and exercise. I hope she gets better soon. I hope she takes as much time as she needs to heal and come back stronger than ever. The second celebrity is Kang Mina from Kugudan. Do you remember her from Produce 101? She was so adorable. She gained lots of attention. But unfortunately, she said during that time, she felt really self-conscious about her body shape. After watching herself on TV, she decided to go on a really extreme diet. Get this, she only drank only two bottles of sparkling water a day and a lemon detox drink for almost two weeks. Can you believe that? It sounds absolutely crazy to me as you can imagine her body didn't react well to this extreme fasting she started feeling dizzy her immune system weakened and she found herself stuck in a cycle of yo-yo dieting it was really tough for her thankfully she realized that extreme dieting was not the way to go Instead, she started focusing on exercise and healthy eating habits. She cut out soft drinks, started walking more. She took cold showers after exercising to cool down 
found things that helped her relax. She said she kept a mirror nearby to remind herself of her goals and made sure to enjoy tasty and healthy meals. She even started Pilates to help manage her figure in a healthy way. I'm really proud of her for making those changes. The third K-pop idol is Jimin from BTS. Have you heard about Jimin's diet story? When he first debuted, he was known for his cute, chubby cheeks. And he even had a, had this nickname, Mangetok, because of them. I mean, don't you just want to touch them? But when he came back with blood, sweat, and tears, he surprised everyone with his incredibly slim appearance, leaving fans wondering about his diet. Everyone was like, Jimin, what happened? What's your secret? So, it turned out Jimin started his diet after looking at himself in the mirror during dance practice and thinking, I wanna look good too. I wanna be one of the handsome members. Well, he was already handsome to me, but he went on an extreme diet of eating only one meal a day for 10 days. No. But soon he learned that this kind of diet was not sustainable and it could lead to weakened immunity and yo-yo dieting. It's gotta be dangerous, right? Now Jimin has decided not to do extreme diets like that again, ever. Thank God. He says he learned that being healthy and happy is more important than achieving a certain body shape or size. Well, here's a question. Why do K-pop idols have to go through such harsh diet? There is a toxic formula that entertainment agencies use. They use this formula to set the ideal weight for girl groups, which is based on your height minus 120 equals the goal weight. Well, the average female in Korea is 162 centimeters, which is about 5 foot 3. Okay, let's do some math. 162 minus 120 is 42. They need to be 42 kilograms? <laughs> what the heck? That's only about 92 pounds. This is insane. I'm speechless. This formula is toxic and it doesn't make sense at all. These entertainment agencies are gaslighting trainees with this ridiculous toxic formula and make them lose weight. Also, they tell their trainees that you have to reach to the point where people around you would be like, that girl is too thin. They need to be worried about you for you to look attractive on screen. This is not healthy. This is messed up. This is not healthy diet, no. So, how can we do a healthy diet? When it comes to maintaining a healthy diet, we can learn a lot from TWICE's Jihyo. She's one of the most well-known members in terms of before and after dieting. Jihyo had been a trainee for a very long time and she was always considered a natural beauty. But all the stress and setbacks of her training period caused her to turn to stress eating, which led to her appearance little bit plumper than other members during TWICE's debut project 16. But Jiho didn't let that get her down. She worked hard on her diet and exercise habits, eventually managing to achieve a legendary beauty in their music video Yes or Yes. She said she lost a total of 15 kilograms after debut, oh. gradually increasing her exercise and improving her eating habits all while practicing controlled eating. At one point, Jiyo even worked out for up to 4 hours a day. That is impressive. Nowadays, Jiyo focuses on improving her physical stamina along with her diet, showing us all that healthy habits and dedication can pay off in the long run. But still, a lot of people only focus on diets. For example, there's the IU diet, which consists of one apple, two sweet potatoes, and a protein powder drink per day. Momo from TWICE only ate ice cubes to lose 7 kilograms in 10 days. That is about 15 pounds. She said she was so exhausted and starved that she, she was scared that she would go to sleep and not wake up again. That is really scary right? BTS Jin revealed that he used to be malnourished because he only had four chicken breasts a day for an entire year without taking any other vitamins or nutrients. 
Well, I gotta tell you, you might want to think twice before jumping on that bandwagon. For starters, Sarhyun from AOA herself came clean on a TV show and said all the quote-unquote Sarhyun diet that are on the internet are total lies. That's not what I eat at all. I don't really restrict what I eat, but I exercise every day and I work out really hard. End quote. That's what she said. You see, we should all keep in mind that extreme diets are never healthy diets. I get it. It's hard not to feel envious when you see how amazing these idols look. But trust me, these kind of diets come with some pretty serious side effects that you don't want to mess with. Plus, the best way to diet is to find one that works for you, not just because some famous person said it was a good idea. Here's the thing. The most important thing is to have the right mindset. Don't just focus on losing weight. Focus on becoming a healthier version of yourself. And remember, you're already beautiful and amazing person just the way you are. You don't need to follow an extreme diet because the society says this is what's beautiful. You are already a sparkly person in your own unique way, okay? And yeah, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!